Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear democratic people at home and abroad. Today we mark the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, a commitment championed by the United Nations. This day is observed as Human Rights Day to ensure global equality, fundamental freedoms and justice for all. Despite these goals, human rights violation persist in various countries including Bangladesh. The citizens of Bangladesh are deprived of their rights and freedoms. Those not aligned with the ruling Awami League are devoid of human dignity and personal security. Facing social humiliation, judicial injustice and even loss of life. Individuals descending from all sectors of society including human rights activists, civil society members, journalists and professionals advocating for fair wages encounter the repressive actions of the fascist Sheikh Hasina regime. Since Hasina came to power in 2009, 2,687 persons have become victim of extrajudicial killings by law enforcement agencies. Along with at least 675 documented instances of enforced disappearance, over 138,000 politically motivated cases have been launched against 5 million members of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party and other pro-democracy political parties. The police continue to register fictitious cases citing incidents that never occurred, even against those who have already died or suffered enforced disappearance. False police testimony stand as the sole evidence without any neutral witness. These premeditated judgments underscore erosion of the principles of justice, fairness and the rule of law. Bangladesh has become a state of criminal profiteering as officials among the police, judiciary and civil and military bureaucracy are illegally empowered to benefit from the current dispensation. Their illicit interest is aligned with Sheikh Hasina's illegitimate retention of power. Certain members of police, RAB and intelligence agencies team up with Awami League to devise arson attacks and physical assaults throughout Bangladesh. Their malicious target is to tarnish BNP's peaceful and non-violent movement through self-inflicted sabotage and exploiting it as a tool to entangle our party with fabricated accusation. To replicate the tainted episode of farcical and rigged election in 2014 and 2018, Awamilik is orchestrating another fraudulent election on 7th January 2024, where results of all seats are predetermined much before the so-called election day. Hasina instructed all her candidates to file additional dummy candidates to show high number of participation. Employing state resources, she unsuccessfully tried to divide BNP and then patronize formation of so-called political parties known as King's Parties. The goal is to create a fictional sense of inclusiveness with hundreds of candidates having no political credential. The lead up to one-sided election is marred by authoritarian development and systematic election engineering aided by heavily politicized state apparatus. The biased election commission is indifferent to ongoing state-sponsored violence and approves questionable and fake entities that pose as political parties and election observers.
the unprecedented repression of opposition leaders and activists has created an environment that is not conducive to inclusive election. BNP along with 62 political parties embracing democratic principles and representing vast majority of Bangladeshis has no choice but to boycott the election which the people of Bangladesh have also rejected. In this crucial time for democracy in Bangladesh, ongoing support from democratic nations, international institutions, human rights organizations and global media is crucial. We express deep gratitude to international stakeholders and development partners for their call to halt human rights violations and uphold democratic principles, resonating with the aspirations of pro-democracy Bangladeshi citizens. BNP believes democracy and human rights serve as the connecting bridge among democratic nations worldwide. If our party is elected to form government with people's mandate, our international relations will thrive with human rights as a keystone. We pledge to embrace and ratify the principles set forth by the United Nations Human Rights Commission. BNP's vision for a unified and liberal Bangladesh reflects the desire of the people by prioritizing their interest and aspiration. Echoing the spirit of the liberation war of 1971, we plan to formulate policies and establish governments to empower all Bangladeshi with freedom, equality and justice. Our commitment transcends gender, faith, religion, ethnicity or politics to ensure fair opportunity and equal rights for every citizen. I reiterate BNP's dedication to build a democratic Bangladesh. This shall be achieved through free, fair, participatory and peaceful election conducted under a non-political neutral election time government. I believe only a government elected by the people devoted to fulfill voters aspiration can be held accountable and ensure the protection of human rights and the rule of law. Together with all democratic forces we will bring about this change in Bangladesh, inshallah. Thank you all.